Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Semi-Perfect Podcast. I think this might be the first time we've ever done one on a Monday. Yeah. But why are we doing it on a Monday? Well, we'll get into that here in just a minute. But thank you all for joining us here. What's the date? It is the, November 12th, the 12th. Yes, the 12th, 2018. And joining us here tonight, we have Toodles. Hello. We have Laura. Hey. <laughs> we have Saber Spark. Hello. Hiro Sashi. Good evening. Paleo yep. Steno. Hi. And I'm AC Race Fest. <laughs> Hello. And welcome in to another semi-perfect podcast. Typically, these are on every other Wednesday. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, that's our typical. <laughs> We're usually around on a uh, Wednesday night. But we have a bit of a preview show, I guess you could almost call it. Kind of. Not for anything that's like really related to any media, but... Uh, the reason that this podcast is happening today on this Monday is because, Sarah, what's happening later this week? We're getting married. We're getting married. Yeah. You yeah. two are together? <laughs> the cat's out of the bag. So I asked Sarah to go out with AC me. I thought best was gay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am. No, I, uh... Yeah, we're we're excited. We'll we'll kind of get to more of the details about uh, some of the stuff that we've had to do to to prep and whatnot. And and yeah, it, it was uh, it's been quite the experience. Admittedly, Sarah's like fronted most of the uh, everything, yeah. <laughs> pretty much everything. <laughs> but I have been fantastic moral support throughout the whole road, and I think all credit goes to me. Uh, so okay, yep. So uh, just to get that out of the way um so yeah uh we'll be talking about that we're also going to be discussing um nothing too spoilery but we will be discussing um some uh trailers well, that that came out um also did we ever like okay this is bad on my part but did we ever oh we've got a shout out super chat um, from Zark7, love ya SPP, heart, 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 heart. Also, Spyro Hype. Hype! Woo! Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Zark. Um, I, w- I was just going to say, did we like ever have an opportunity to discuss? Because I still haven't seen it, and it's just purely because circumstantial, I just haven't had a chance to yet. Mm-hmm. But there was that a holiday episode that came out for MLP. I haven't watched it yet. Neither of us have watched <laughs> oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we just, haven't either. You guys haven't watched it either? Waiting until December. Yeah, That's right. I watched it. Laura watched it. We should just give. We should just give them the floor, and and then all of us plug our ears. I, I'll, I'll leave you right here. Yeah. Except then how about it during December? Yeah, we'll wait until Christmas. I love you guys. You're so smart. <laughs> we'll discuss that episode closer to Christmas. Right. Now, I, I'm probably actually going to film a video tonight. Um, just just kind of an update. Uh, I know the podcast is being hosted here on my AC Race Best channel. And that's one of the things I wanted to kind of update. Oh, this is perfect timing. Perfect timing. Our DJ is right. calling us right now. I gotta go. Wait. DJ Vaughn. DJ. Well, I just lost Sarah. But, uh, so what I was going to say. Yeah, it's over. Cancel it. That's it. Oh, thanks for coming out. No, um, so, uh, the thing I wanted to update was that this, uh, last, God, the last month leading up to this point and then the next, basically to the beginning of the year, um, has been just crazy. And, uh, you know, for, for honestly the, the worst of things and the best of things. Um, and because of that, there's been several video projects that I've just had to hold off. I I just have not had a chance to worry about them. Um, I didn't want to, to kind of force anything on the editing side. Um, you know, we, one of the things that was in the midst of being worked on and, and honestly, I, I anticipated was going to be out um, probably a month ago was the Bronies react to the MLP movie. Um, and and that stuff, it, it's just because it hasn't been released or it's being held off doesn't mean it's not happening. Uh, I just it's right now it's just on me to, to, you know, get it done and 
And I'm probably going to get back kind of a refocus on on the YouTube side of things once, you know, once we're done with the wedding and done with the honeymoon and, and kind of start to settle back in. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to get back to, you know, getting stuff going on um, – on my YouTube channel, uh, there, there, you know, there's a couple of things that have been in the works. So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out now. And like I said, I'll probably <clears throat> post a video, probably film it tomorrow, or I'm sorry, film it tonight, and post it tomorrow. Uh, just kind of updating everyone that's not tuned in right now uh, to let everybody know, like, hey, you know, the, the the channel's still here. Here's here's what's up. Here, you know, like I said, it's been. There's obviously been some some bad things that we've had to deal with, but also some uh, some really great things that that are coming up. So, um, yeah, it's just been a roller coaster of, of time. Hi, Sarah. Did you hang up on DJ? No, I had a very pleasant conversation with him. He... What do you what do you say? I gotta go. No, Bye. he he had a question because we didn't. I forgot to put something for when like the groomsmen walk out. So. He'll he'll send me some stuff. So, yeah. Wait, but that's important. That affects. Oh, I I didn't. Even, that just popped up. Uh, Red Ghost ninety two. Thank you so much. Says uh, gave us a super chat. Says congrats to Race and Sarah on your special day from Jory. Jory. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um. So yeah, I wanted to mention that. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna probably post kind of an update video, basically saying the same thing. But uh, I really appreciate everybody's patience and whatnot. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm certain that the circumstances are understood. <laughs> so so I'm uh, yeah I'm just I'm just I'll be excited to get back into kind of the video focus of stuff once once we're done with all this life changing stuff that's that's going on. Yeah. So yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so uh, that being said. We should do food posts because there's a food post in here that everyone's okay. anticipating right now. <laughs> All right. So, the first one? yeah, it is. Anime Guy Zero One. Oh, wow. Has one of the best yes. food posts that I have ever seen. Apparently, Anime Guy just took a bag <laughs> of mini Oreos and put it into a bowl of milk. <laughs> And and like it's I said, like Oreo cereal, it's just like Here mini is. Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that I honestly, because when I first saw this, I legit thought all the milk was also that Oreo cream. <laughs> and I, I looked at this, and I just about had to step away and take a cold shower. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. In the middle there, it almost looks like it's like a bad video game texture. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's kind of flat. Yeah. I'm like, wait, is this real or not? <laughs> you walk up to it and it becomes a lot less spectacular. You're like, oh. But no, that is that is great. Uh, epic. Oh, Pranchan yeah. says Wendy's fries on my race and Sarah. Sarah, we're getting Wendy's fries tonight. Nice. Thank you so much, Pranchan, for the super chat. Also, Quiet Storm with the super chat says, congrats on your rardiferal. I I butchered that. Rardiful. Um, yeah, Rardiful. Super chats, man. I should get married on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and a pet on the back for Laura. Hey, Laura. 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 Saber Spark. <laughs> Saber, let's get married. Also, Only if I get time for wedding planner. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's also so what you were just saying yeah. was that also a pat on the back for Laura and her ruined Saber Best. Oh, Saber Best fanfic. Yeah. It. That still happened. I would. I I wouldn't say it's out of the question i mean you know uh, <laughs> certain ships being canon has not stopped anybody from doing fan fictions of another ship before so. and i'm just yeah, pointing exactly. this out that saber's gonna be at the wedding and have you seen that scene yeah, he's where gonna, he's gonna object yeah <laughs> when, when shrek he's gonna be like shrek bursting through the doors yelling i yes. object <laughs> It's all in the fanfic. It's almost like you didn't read it. I'm a brony on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Then we've got Quiet Storm with a Maria calendar dinner and two liter of water for the semi-perfect podcast tonight. Nice. Look at that. That's now, a fettuccine with chicken and broccoli. They really put a I lot of time. Ca- I spelled calendar wrong. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Where's the well, water? Well, I know it's the last name, but yeah. <laughs> two, two liters of water, man. 
That's yeah. a good amount of water. I'm thirsty now. Yeah. I want water. I'm actually thirsty too, so I'm going to go get a glass of water. Oh, for a you're going to leave right. right when we get to Nora Mermaid's post. <laughs> says pizza and cheese bread while doing laundry because i'm a procrastinator aren't we all nora aren't we all some good cheese pizza I, you know i'm kind of curious here That's like we're out, of water. we're out of water guys it is california, it's california. we're out of <laughs> freaking drink it oh, no. we'll Sarah, with us. we saved some on the balcony from the last storm 48 months ago <laughs> from two weeks ago <laughs> Um. So what's what's funny? Nora Mermaid has this cheese pizza post with the cheese bread next to it, but it literally looks like the cheese bread was just pizza without the crust. I'm gonna look this up. I'm on. I'm on to this. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cheese bread is usually just like cheese with like no sauce. Oh, Sarah poured me. Is this cold? No. Sarah. We were out of the fridge water. It's healthy. This isn't even so clear. Sorry that you all have to live in California. <laughs> this water, for anyone that's seen The Goonies, and there's that scene with the water. Hey, Mikey. Um, that's what our water looks like in California. It's no, it's brown. No, it doesn't. It's, it's murky. It is clear water. It's we have a dirt. water filter on our sink thing. It's And it tastes like nothing. Same thing. Did you use the filter? Mm -hmm. use yes, it. I used the filter. Sarah, you think of everything. Okay. Thank you, Nora Mermaid, for your food post. Thanks, Mark. And we've got Jazz King having breakfast for Din Din with some Honey Nut Cheerios. We've got <sighs> the podcast in the background and got some ponies in the forest. What is that starlight glimmer thing? Uh, it's the new figure thingy that they released that has Trixie and Starlight on a rocket. Now, I'm a pretty... I, I consider myself one of the more mature people in society. Uh -huh. And so I just want to point out that's a very interesting uh, position that Trixie and Starlight are in. Mm -hmm. Wow. Is she wearing... Is Starlight wearing a belt? What's on no. the end of that... Oh. What's on the end of what? The belt. What belt? She's not yeah, wearing a belt. Yeah, what belt are you talking about? What are you talking about? Is that her tail? You mean your, your tail? <laughs> Is that... No, Sarah. When two oh girls God. fall in love, one of them puts on a belt. Oh my God. I've seen... I've read books. That's uh, true. Alright. Real Road Ronies. <laughs> I got Totino's Pizza Rolls with a rice of roni, chicken rice, and a lemonade. Nice. We're going to have lots of belts at the wedding. <laughs> and then Rainbow Alicorn Magical Sparkle Princess has yummy SPP foods. Wait, what is... Parlor. What is that? Wait, hold on. Mince et tourbillon de chocolat. I'm guessing it's mint chocolate chip. <laughs> mint and chocolate. Oh, yeah. it. The... <laughs> Say it again, Dexter. <laughs> Omelette du fromage. This is uh, this has been a very good food post week. Yeah. Um, we about... started it off with a bang. Yeah. Anime guy with the Oreo cookies and milk. Like, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we like creativity, so don't don't be afraid to do something really weird for your food posts. Yeah. Um, and not saying that was weird, of course. I'm that was honored. Weird. <laughs> it's, it's weird, but it's genius at the same time. Yeah, it's good weird. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. So that was it for the food posts. Uh, I'm so I'm curious, guys. Um, anyone have any stories from the last two weeks? What's up? Has it been two weeks. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, not really, because okay. it's Monday. It's been like 12 but... days. <laughs> Maybe My 11. Came to visit. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. I was talking, I was going to like a, a wood turning thing, like a couple hours away, so he stopped by and stayed at my house. A for what? A <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, a wood turning thing? Wood turning? Yeah, it's like when you have a lathe, and like the, it spins around, yeah. and you like shave off parts of it and shape them into things. Cool. Oh, Okay. He does that for like a hobby and partially like he sells some things people want to buy stuff and uh he went to like a class because he wanted to do it and he it was like nearby me so he got to stay with me for a couple days we ate some amazing chinese food during his visit tell me more it was weird because like it was like uh this place, this place had like excellent um like dry pot oh, and and um this like 
some like firecracker chicken and things like that. It was really good. But the TV there, it's very Asian. But the TV there had this show on where it had this guy in a river like grabbing frogs and then cooking them and just ripping their skins off and eating them. <laughs> and I was like, Ugh. It was like one of those adventure <laughs> game shows. Where it's like, I guess if you're a human and you're super hungry, you'll eat. <laughs> you'll, you... Grace, that's a question for you. Yeah. If you were left on an island and they only had frogs there, would you eat them eventually? Frogs? Yeah. Um, do I have the capability of making a fire? Yes. Yeah. Then I, I like, honestly, if, yeah, I, I think if I was moved to it, I'll put it this way. I would, I would eat fish if, if it came down to starving or. Oh eating. yeah, that's right. You don't, you don't fish. like fish. <laughs> you would eat fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like frogs would be higher on the list <laughs> than fish. <laughs> <laughs> you're on a desert island and there's these delicious plates of salmon you're like oh, i'm dying <laughs> <laughs> hey i had salmon for dinner salmon's well 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 chef ramsey's standing right next to them like mm, an idiot sandwich <laughs> you know speaking of, of dummies laura and i watched uh pinocchio tonight and uh there's so many dumb people in that movie which yeah. which one though the <laughs> disney one yeah 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 it's great because Geppetto's like, I'm in a boy. I'm going to send him off to school by himself. Bye. He's like, <laughs> so yeah. hippie. I'm so hippie. Yeah, Cricket's like, I like it when the when the fairy godmother's talking to, to Pinocchio, the blue fairy. And she's like, she's like, yeah, you have to listen to your conscience. And Pinocchio's like, what's a conscience? And then Gepp- like, then, not Geppetto. Uh, then uh, Jiminy, Jiminy yeah. like, like starts preaching at Pinocchio. And I'm like, dude, he's been alive for like three minutes like lay off <laughs> yeah. also like jiminy cricket's a really bad conscience yeah yeah he is, yeah, he, is. he was he's late the perv. first day <laughs> wait he's a perv he's a big perv like yeah. all the little lady figurines he like ogles at and, like, oh yeah that's weird. right <laughs> it's he, so weird he grabbed one, one and, and then you got like God, what else <laughs> then the sheer terror of pinocchio when he's singing, you know, I, I have no strings on me, where it's like the equivalent of a human dancing on stage with a bunch of humans hanging, like corpses hanging from <laughs> strings. <laughs> well, I that those puppets have been alive at one point and no longer are, which I don't think is the case. Okay, then never mind. It's, it's still creepy, though. But it's like, haha, when will they be real boys and girls? It's like, never. Um, <laughs> or I like, I like this. I like how Geppetto lost Pinocchio. And Geppetto's next the, the logical deduction is to rent a boat. <laughs> I must yeah, look for him form. in the ocean. That is where he must go. I must find a boy. <laughs> Monstro, have you seen my boy? Hey. Have you seen my boy? Hi, Dios mío. He went to the ocean. <laughs> Wait, why were you speaking Spanish? <laughs> That's Spanish, not Italian. <laughs> uh, yeah, Figaro is the best character in that movie. Yeah. I no, love Figaro. Well, I forgot yeah. how much I love the cat. Yeah. Figaro is amazing. Figaro's great. Figaro's got some great facial expressions. <laughs> I love. I love talking about these old Disney films, though. Like I told Laura that there is this like there's a this, this is like a legendary uh, photo op, but it had like all the Disney villains, and it had this random guy who was like wearing a hunter's outfit. And oh, yeah, yeah. they're like, what's this guy doing here? And they're like, oh my god, it's the guy who shot Bambi's mom. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, oh, dear. Uh, that dear. <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, fuck? So, uh, uh, Paleo, how's, how's your last couple weeks been? Um... Not too much went on, but I did go see The Grinch. Tell us about <laughs> it. <laughs> Tell us about it, Paleo. Yeah, and I, I know, I know, Race, how much you love Illumination. <laughs> he loves. So he tell loves me, is this their food. turnaround, Paleo? Is this where I finally no. go? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Though I've seen some people that kind of like genuinely like the movie. They're all full and... of it. I haven't even seen the movie. Did you all see know. Jim's title for the video that he made about it? No. Yeah, I saw it. Jim's video was great. Jim's title for the video was How Illumination Stole the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Is that great? Yeah, that's good. Um, 
Yeah, what? Except, like, 20% of the couch. What can you do? Yeah, it's... Complain about Lamy's legs are too long. They're so long. <laughs> no, nah, there's, the, uh... The Grinch... Yeah, tell us. It, um... It felt so empty after I saw it. It's elimination. It's, just, it's so weird. <laughs> your soul left your body. Is that the emptiness you were feeling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, I could see, like, the potential of doing a, a, C, a CG wrench, um, but, just, man, like... Because the last Dr. Right Seuss company. film that Illumination did was the Lorax, mm -hmm. and the, the Lorax is pretty weird. Mm -hmm. um, Child, you cut down this tree! <laughs> <laughs> the Lorax is pretty pretty weird for a, for a Dr. Seuss movie. Yeah. Um and uh, like the other CG movie before them was from a different studio, uh, 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 Horton Hears a Who, yeah. which I actually kind of enjoyed. Yeah. Um, but uh, Doctor, uh, the Grinch, it, I don't know, it feels like, I said in my review that it feels like they, it feels like they were trying to put in too much, but it's at the same time, didn't finish any of it. Yeah. Like, like one. Oof. There's a lot of women that have that feeling. <laughs> wow. About <laughs> Ready Player One. <clears throat> no, the the other one, the, the feeling of a lot going on, but then. Yeah, yeah I got, I got. But <laughs> I'm. I. So, are you, <laughs> would are you, you marry this fool? <laughs> yeah. Would you say that the better name for this, instead of Dr. Seuss's The Grinch, is How the Grinch Stole an Hour and 26 Minutes of Your Life? Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, like, I, I, I find uh, the, uh, the, the Ron Howard-directed one, the one with Jim Carrey, that one, I, I find that one to be more entertaining just because it's so freaking weird. Yeah. Um, you say that like it's not amazing though <laughs> like that's like we love watching those that's together. like one of the greatest yeah i i, I watched it last movies. year during christmas and i'm like oh yeah i forgot how like funny and weird the movie is yeah and you know who does a fantastic impression of jim carrey's the grinch is gabe yeah yeah who i have no idea where he is right now how many how many what are you the unmitigated gall <laughs> that was scary that we both jumped into that at the same time. That's what yeah. we always quote after we say <laughs> another line from the Grinch. It still scares me. But yeah, if, if you're like expecting like some some like good humor from the movie too, it's like <laughs> the Illumination Grinch is just like, well, everything that was like <laughs> even like sort of funny was already in the trailers. Well, it's like so. what you and I said like leading up to it in the trailer where. We're like, oh, it's Benedict Cumberbatch, but if you listen to it, it sounds like a bored Doctor Strange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and Pedro and I were joking, saying it's like the Grinch walks up to Cindy Lou, and he's like, let me guess, you're home. And Cindy Lou takes the Infinity Gauntlet, and she's like, it used to be, and it was beautiful, and it shows like all the Christmas she's put back on. <laughs> does it? Does it just basically sound like like the whole time Benedict Cucumbers is just sitting there with his like hand. Kind of like his, his elbow his resting, cheek. yeah, and his his hand on his cheek, and he's just kind of leaning against his arm, like. Not the entire time. There, there's Max. like the, the whole scene where like the Grinch figures out, like, okay, that's just, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna steal Christmas. But oh, spoilers! It, it's, it's the wow. <laughs> Actually, is a. He, it doesn't he, have the same kind of impact uh, as the Chuck Jones one or even the Jim Carrey one. Yeah. Well, Chuck like, Jones one's legendary. Yeah. Because yeah. you got you got you got Doctor Seuss worked on it. Chuck Jones animated it. You got fucking Tony the Tiger singing it, and the narrator. Is <laughs> you know, like, you can't beat that. It's legendary. It's I think. Legendary. I think besides it just being made by Illuminations, the moment that made me lose hope for this movie was when they're like, "All right, let's show them some scenes that's really gonna knock off their socks," and they showed the Grinch food shopping. Yeah. I think that's about where I started. Yeah, we eat the pickle, <laughs> <laughs> and he puts it back in another jar. <laughs> 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 When they first released the image of like the Grinch, and, mm -hmm. and I'm sorry, but it looked like he's gonna fuck like somebody. Like, what? I don't know. What? Like, it's like he's, a, he's like he's. A, how can I say this? Excuse me. He's got fuck me eyes. He's got fuck me eyes. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. 
it's like you're at the bar, you're having a drink, you turn around, and you see a guy across the bar, like, just giving you a smile. That's the Grinch. Are you high? No. <laughs> oh, dude, I swear. Hey, the last high. the last time I was at a bar and I turned around and I saw a naked green man give me the eye, I just went, you know, this is this is okay. <laughs> he stole more than your Christmas. <laughs> he sure did. Yeah, here, look, I, I put it in the uh, this Discord chat. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, look at the Discord chat. He's got he got fucking eyes. The thing is, like the the design he had before looked better. The, here was yeah. here was the original design. Yeah. Oh, so much better. Wait, what happened? They, yeah, and I, I I've seen some, like <laughs> some, I've seen some concept art that was posted on Twitter from like people that worked on the film, and that that concept art is like so much better. Illumination just illuminationed it. Yeah. Illumination wants to make money at the end of the day. They don't they don't want to be like, hey, let's take an artistic risk and make this look good. It's like no. We we want this to be cold, calculated, fucking maximized for making money. It's all it's about. Which means they just took an existing franchise or an existing character and story and went, all right, yeah, just went. <laughs> I right. don't understand your accent. <laughs> your accent. <laughs> I'm waiting for illumination of another property introduced, and they're going to call another character Max in that movie as well. <laughs> There'll be like three Maxes in their entire like library. You're like, damn it, what other name is there besides Max? Well, aren't they Stop losing it. one Max. of their Maxes? <laughs> Isn't one of their Maxes going away because their Max was a naughty boy? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did there. you see the new trailer for Secret Life of Pets 2? No. What? No, don't tell me. Is there really one? Yes. Yeah, yeah there's I, a trailer. I, I... Hey, let me make an observation about this stuff because like Secret Life of Pets, all the mouths look the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it's weird. Their their mouths all look the same, and, and they even use it in other things. Like, like, like illumination mouths are they weird me out. You know what's weird to me is how excited everyone was. Like like when Secret Life of Pets was getting ready to come out, people were like, "Guys, this movies were seen because they gave the animals buttholes." And I was like, "Is that is that really the shining crowning <laughs> moment?" It was? Some poor <laughs> intern sitting there. <laughs> We need some more anal leakage on the butthole. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, a stick. Right. Hero, how was your two weeks? Where is he here? He probably left. <laughs> Hero, oh, okay. Okay. I'm still here. Have you been, <laughs> Hero? I, I, I thought I thought I was muted. Um, it was good. Good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I studied Japanese. That is what I did this week. Hero. And and I went to round one to play some rhythm games. Any also, uh the new Monster Hunter game. Oh the new Monster Hunter uh, movie trailer. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. Let me not scream. Um <laughs> the plot is that some US Marines get like transferred into the Monster Hunter world oh, and the monsters are attacking them. And I was like, that's really weird. And unfortunate because Monster Hunter has the story like it's not like outstanding like give it a tony i don't know why tony isn't that broadway I mean, give, give it a it's give it a, a musical from <laughs> <laughs> a gala anyways um but <laughs> yeah and then the monsters like go after the humans but the humans have like guns and like i don't know what they're called the the, the bun, bun, buggies or whatever warthogs whatever they're called in halo they have those <laughs> Jeez. And it, yeah, and this all military out, and it's just like not the world of Monster Hunter. At all. I mean, they're in the world of Monster Hunter, but the way they fight the monsters is nothing like Monster Hunter at all. I was like, why did you need to do that? It's like you made a Mario movie, but Mario goes to college and then comes back and studies. <laughs> I was like, that's not what he does in the game. <laughs> and I'd watch. watch that movie. The movie sounds awesome. But um, <laughs> there's there's a. Uh, <clears throat> what was I gonna say? There's a lot of inaccuracies. They showed like a seven second trailer, and there are eight inaccuracies in those seven seconds, which is hilarious. There are more inaccuracies than there are seconds. But um, <laughs> hero, here's the question: I think we're all wondering about the trailer. Mm. Did they give the monsters buttholes? It is. <laughs> uh, there are no monsters in the oh in the trailer. Yes, uh, in the trailer, no, there are no buttholes. There are no butt shots. Mm. So I don't know yet. Okay. Am I weird? Be. Because I, I know I've said this before. Maybe that just makes me weird or it makes people judge me a certain way. But like when I saw 
the, the, the buttholes in Secret Life of Pets, I was like, good on you for being brave. Because animals have them. <laughs> they have them. Like, yeah. I was just like, sure. Well, you know what I'm so proud about is that another studio is finally taking uh, a risk. You know, they're, they're taking note of Secret Life of Pets. And I'm proud to announce <laughs> that Toy Story 4 will have buttholes. On <laughs> good. Right. Good. Um, I'm happy to hear that. And Buzz. Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Potatoes head. don't even have buttholes, but Mr. Potato Head has <laughs> yeah. a butthole like backpack thing where it opens up and his stuff comes out. Fireteam Harmony has in the movies. Fireteam Harmony. Will be flush. Fireteam Harmony says they play Monster Hunter. Yay! Monster Hunter people. <laughs> Nerds. My friends. Fireteam Harmony! <laughs> yes, but uh, there are, without being a gigantic nerd, there are a lot of inaccuracies in that trailer. I was just like, how did you cram so many into a seven second clip? That's nuts to me. But uh, I could go on and on about Monster Hunter, but I won't <laughs> do that. <laughs> Sarah, hmm? how has your last two weeks been? Uh, kind of hectic, just been getting some last minute, you know, wedding stuff put together. It's all pretty much mostly done. Yeah? But yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've just been working on making decorations and buying stuff and all that stuff. So. Yeah? Do you want to know about my two weeks? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, sure. I've been so relaxed. <laughs> I've had so much time on my hands to just play video games uh-huh. and do nothing. Uh-huh. Because there's nothing to do. Like, <clears throat> <clears throat> No, yeah, we <clears throat> we've been getting ready. Actually, I do have a story of, from the last two weeks. It actually happened on Saturday. So Sarah and I were thinking about going camping this weekend and decided against it just because it's the week before our wedding and we're like, just in case, uh, we don't want to stress out about anything. So I ended up actually covering a racing event uh, <clears throat> during the day and I got in a fight. And I got hurt. Mm-hmm. And I'm right now wearing a brace. Damn. And it, <laughs> it may affect my abilities during the wedding. Mm-hmm. So. He fell on a trash can. Oh, I thought it was a heated Zootopia fight. Wait, hold on. You, where's the brace at? Uh, On his r- right hand. Wrist I was hoping he was around his neck. he he fell on a trash can and he mostly hit his hand on it you're making this sound so much so much less epic uh he jumped off a grandstand and he didn't realize that there was a trash can underneath him (laughs) so he hit the rim of the trash can with his hand and now it's got like a brace on it he's sprained it so yeah now wait that's awesome that's not how i was going to tell the story uh, well, the way you were telling the story was a big fat lie. No, <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say I lost the fight. Your hand hit okay. the only that's broken, so it's your pride. So, I <laughs> honestly, when I so I yeah, I, I hopped off these bleachers and somehow didn't realize there was a trash can right there, and my hand hit the lid of it. And when it happened, because I I was kind of in that motion where I was my hand was swinging down to kind of like I was getting ready to walk, right? So I'm like hopping off the bleachers, and right when I was throwing my hand down, all of a sudden it stopped very abruptly. And I hit it right in between where, like, if you make an L, like, you know, loser, uh, <laughs> right in the middle of that. And and let's see. Appropriate. There's uh Yeah, so it bruised, like, immediately, yeah. which was my first, like, uh-oh. And it hurt really bad. Uh and I was like, oh, don't tell me. I, I thought I actually hurt my wrist. Like, I thought, like, don't, you know, I did I just sprain my wrist or something? Because uh, it, it swelled up quick. Everything was kind of painful. And it was my right hand, which means I was busy, uh, you know, I, I, I was about to do all this coverage by myself while holding a mic and handling a camera in the same hand, yeah. which was my right hand. Yeah. Not to mention there were other things that I was going to do with my right hand. Uh-huh. Anyways, so the uh, <laughs> I, it just it was yeah it sucked and yeah and I'm still I told that a boy brace. to be careful because I like he was going to this thing by himself I'm like you be careful because our wedding is like in a week 
And then here he goes hurting his hand. It's so off. fitting though. It's so fitting that of course I get hurt mm-hmm. when I'm all I'm doing is filming. Yeah. Like these are the well, same type of cars I usually drive in. And did I hurt my hand driving a well, demolition? You jumped car? off a bleacher. I jumped off a bleacher. Yeah. I did do that. All right. Uh, we got a shout out from Quiet Storm. How are your birthdays two weeks ago, by the way? We had our birthdays two weeks ago. Uh, we did. Uh, That's why we moved third. the... No, why That's did not... we... That's not... Because... I can't we... <laughs> Did we move it last week? Well, it was on a Thursday because of uh, oh, Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Um, birthdays were great. Uh, we we ate some good food. No. We got some good presents. Yeah. Uh, and we we drank him, a lot of alcohol. I got him a couple of shadow boxes, and I put his Zootopia pins in them, and they're hanging up on the wall. Yep, she That's loves cool. me. And he got me Red Dead Redemption too. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Um. <clears throat> That's one thing I always appreciate about Sarah is like I've tried getting her jewelry in the past, and she's just like, I, "Why? I don't want this." But then I'm like, "Well, what do you want?" And she's like, "Red Dead Redemption." Okay. Cool. Vader games. Yeah. So. What girls really want? True. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Laura's joke. He stole it. He did. Oh well, <laughs> it was it was good. Whoever yeah. delivered it, it was great. Um, I also went to the drag races. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. sure did. <laughs> You're my stomach. Yeah, your your stomach sounded like a drag race car. <laughs> it did. <laughs> and uh, I ate garlic fries, so that's that was my two weeks. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Sarah, you got some topics here. Are, are do yes. any of these require the spoiler thing? What spoiler? Oh no. 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 Nothing. No. Nada. Nothing. Okay, because I mean they are trailers, so <clears throat> we'll uh, we'll be clear what we're talking about here. Um, so if anyone either here in the podcast uh, group or anybody in the comment section want to avoid anything, obviously we'll give plenty no. of warning. Uh, what do you want? Which one do you want to discuss first? Okay. Well, first thing I want to discuss because I've seen it a lot in the chat, and I think it should be good for us to address it is that Stanley passed away today. Um, Spoilers. <laughs> no. It's very sad. It's a very sad day. Uh, he was very good in the comics industry, and you know. Was he? Yeah. I mean, yeah. He did okay. Lot. <laughs> he's basically the Walt Disney of comics. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because like I, I know that Stanley's got some like controversy surrounding him and the Jack Kirby stuff and the business. Mm-hmm. But like, I I definitely say it's kind of like a Walt Disney thing because even Walt, you know, wasn't one hundred percent clean. Yeah. Rarely. He smoked. He was, <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> Cancel yeah. the trip to Disney. It broke my heart. <laughs> I saw him growing up in black and white, and I saw a color picture of him, and I was like, wait a second. Bullshit. <laughs> um, but, and then in reality, like, Stan, like, it's, 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 because when I saw the news, I'm like, okay, is this article fake? Okay, no, it's real. But, like, for the record, 95 years old, you know? Yeah. Great yeah, he lived a while. Yeah. He's rich. My only concern was that I heard at the end of his life, there's some articles floating around about how he was, like, possibly the victim of elder abuse yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that that makes me upset yeah because I, I i just hope he can go out on his own terms and be happy and you know quiet not quiet but like you no know, peaceful mm-hmm. versus like i hope he wasn't like miserable at the end because that, that sucked yeah yeah but that all being said who knows i'm just you know respect <laughs> to the man for his creations and his legacy yeah i i just i i've always appreciated that like he had a thing with like cameos yeah. like like that i love that like i was like oh yeah, yeah you can make a movie you wonder which one's gonna be his last cameo now. yeah because there's yeah. a there's a few marvel films coming out next year where uh, avengers 4 might be the last one but then there's also x-men uh dark phoenix uh well, coming out after that his cameos in a bunch of movies already Possibly. yeah so i i, I don't know i i uh I know they'll do something special here at the end of Infinity War Part Two, where they're like, "Hey, rest in peace, Stanley," or something like that. Yeah. People are probably gonna cry. Yeah. Are you gonna cry, sir? No. Oh. Fine. <laughs> Today was a roller coaster, dude. It was like 
It was like the Toy Story 4 teaser. Oh, cool, sweet. Take the Pikachu. Oh, sweet. Can today get any better? Stanley's dead. What? <laughs> I was like you when I saw it. I, I immediately was like, okay, here's another, you know, fake, fake yeah. article. Yeah. Uh, it's like one of those things people keep talking about. Like when Betty White passes away, I'm not going to believe it. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Well, in, Queen Elizabeth, yeah in, in other news, on the same oh. level, uh, granted, I don't think there's a lot of people here, but there's. Uh, for anyone that are are NASCAR people, uh, NASCAR legend. Also, like right after the Stan Lee announcement came out, uh, the NASCAR world lost uh, a driver named David Pearson from back, way back. He used to race with like Richard Petty and whatnot. And it was just, oh wow, yeah, I was just like, holy crap, because I was getting like one side of people saying, hey, did you hear about Stan Lee? And the other side of people I talked to going, hey, did you hear about David Pearson? I'm like, what's going on today? <laughs> Like what is this? Yeah, it's weird. It's yeah it, well, it comes in threes because uh, Douglas Rain, the, yeah. uh, the voice of Hal Nine Thousand from Two Thousand One: Space Odyssey, died today as well. Mm -hmm. Who would think that on a planet of seven billion people, that three people would die every day? <laughs> three popular people. I saw the most in poor taste post on Twitter. I was like, oh my god. And it had the Stan Lee thing with the Infinity Gauntlet snap, and I'm like, oh, come I'm on, like, no. are you fucking serious? Like, get this out of here! Like, it's awful. So <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, I wasn't gonna say it, but it, it crossed my mind during our conversation right now <laughs> when you, we were talking about like his future uh, cameos, and mm. I was like, oh no, I should just not say <laughs> anything. But apparently, someone already said it. But I wasn't going to, which makes okay. me a good person. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hope yeah. that they give it, like, I mean, oh, whatever. Yeah, rest, of, rest in peace, Stanley. There, there cool. hasn't been a celebrity death that has made me, like, feel really, really sad yet. But I, I know it's going to happen with David Attenborough. Because, yeah, that one's going to break Yeah, me. he's he's getting up there. And, like, he, he was, he's near, like, I, I think, like, he's around, like, Stanley's age. He's 94. Um, 90, yeah. So Queen yeah, Elizabeth it's gonna happen soon with him. There's a there's a great article. I was telling uh, some folks about this, about how like I think it was from like the fucking seventies, and it, or something like that. And it was like it said like to your future king. It had a picture of Prince Philip, and it's like <laughs> nope, <laughs> like forty years later, and the mother, the queen, Queen Elizabeth is still alive. Prince Philip is like in his seventies, and it, guys, it wouldn't be unheard of for him to die. You know, for before you know, the seventies is like oh, seventy. Yeah, that's awful. You know, a little bit soonish, but still bad. But like to lose the Queen Elizabeth might outlive her son. She might be hundred and twenty. I wouldn't even be surprised. She's gonna be immortal. I'm gonna be upset if she doesn't outlive me. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I I'll think eighty years old and, and Queen Elizabeth is like like a robot body, <laughs> like in a uh, uh, Great Mouse Detective. That's oh, right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Chocolate? Did you <laughs> say <great>. chocolate? <laughs> oh I think I, I think the greatest legacy though is uh, for Stanley is his anonymity. Like nobody's ever questioned it. But what is Stanley's last name? I get I get it. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You sure you want to marry this? this yeah. <laughs> All right. Just wait till you hear the vows. <laughs> okay. All right. What's 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 next on the docket? Uh, Detective he said docket. Pikachu. <laughs> All right. Detective, is there anyone here who's afraid to discuss Detective P Pikachu? Nope. We all good? Well, Detective yeah. Pichaku. Pichaku. <laughs> so Sarah showed me this trailer. Uh, Just, and yeah. I, I, so a long time ago, I heard about this thing called Detective Pikachu and I immediately assumed that it was going to be like a cartoon anime-ish type of Pokemon, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. And she hits play on this video and I'm like, okay, this kind of already, like the very first scene has kind of that ready player one-ish, like just atmosphere until it pans down. And I didn't know if it was like real or not i was like what is this is this a fan i was like wow this is really well done <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Uh, it's good to have Deadpool really branching out. <laughs> It's so funny because I've noticed this trend when, okay, so w with movies, I've noticed that when they blend reality with fiction, typically with cartoon characters with real people, it's always like a buddy cop type of film. Mm. They have Roger yeah, Rabbit. You're right. And then there's the puppet oh. one that just came out that I can't remember the name of. Uh, Muppets. Happy Time Murders. Yeah. And then, isn't there, like, a TV show that had, like, an orc dude that was a cop or whatever? Uh, yeah. What was Whoopi called. Goldberg and a talking dinosaur? <laughs> wasn't there one, wasn't there one with, uh, oh, God, what's his face yeah, that, like, festival? he goes to, like, a cartoon brothel? What's it called? Oh, the what? what? I'm trying to remember uh, who it is. Wait, do you mean, um... Are you talking about Cool World? Yeah. 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 It wasn't, was that, was that a cop-ish type of like the setting was sort of weird. yeah it was sort of like that i can't rem i don't ha I haven't really watched that movie yeah. so. or know. blues clues a, a blues clues a is a detective show yeah like it's always like a detective or like a cop <laughs> sort of setting and i'm just like that's really fucking weird but okay <laughs> but yeah uh detective peach Pichu pichu <laughs> God damn it. pikachu uh looks yeah. fun it looks yeah. so weird, but I love it. It's so yeah, I like, weird. I like I like the way it looks. Yeah. Yeah. As as the resident Pokemon fan. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm. <laughs> as the resident. I just I just knew there was no way someone wasn't gonna let him get away with that. <laughs> I knew Saber was gonna do something. Uh, I painted you, Saber. <laughs> See, you think that's a fighting game? You can bait people. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're gonna walk through that sentence that's us <laughs> fucking roasting you? <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Paleo. Uh, anyway, uh, doctorate in Pokemon studies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I'm actually like really excited for this. Yeah. Um, because like I I picked up the the game this year, Detective Pikachu. Yeah. Um, and played through it, and uh, when watching the trailer, I'm like, huh. It seems like they're doing like sort of a similar story to what the game is, is the, the game's like sort of just like this point and click uh, mystery adventure, mm -hmm. um, and it seems like they're doing the same sort of thing but just on, on a on a bigger scale. Yeah. Um, as far as the way of Pokemon, it, the Pokemon look, um, some of them look a little weird, but yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's unavoidable yeah. when you do it in that style. Yeah, it, especially. Mr. Um, Mime's like terrifying. Yeah, yeah Mr. Mime has dodgeballs for shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it seems like they're focusing like a lot of the, the center of attention mm -hmm. on uh, the Gen 1 Pokemon for like old, old school fans. Right. Um, and stuff in the background is like other generations. Mm -hmm. uh, other than like Greninja, you see like uh, them running from Greninja. Um, but uh, I, I like it that they're like sprinkling a lot of different um, spe uh, species in there. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm I'm not sure if a Pokemon because I, I I see a lot of people. I've seen some videos and reactions about it and how like why is this the first Pokemon of the first live action Pokemon movie when it could be like about anything else? Well, I think with Detective Pikachu is that you actually have a talking yeah pokemon <laughs> rather than all of them like saying their name and um, it, it, it would yeah. have all right yeah yeah um Baby, don't worry i'm gonna help you find your dad <laughs> <laughs> thank god you're here meow <laughs> <laughs> and james and... why are you wearing like the clothes again <laughs> don't even question it meow <laughs> <laughs> and un unlike something like the Monster Hunter movie, where it's like, oh yeah, we have to have like people from the real real world going in, going into um, the Monster Hunter world, or like the mo monsters from the Monster Hunter world coming into the uh, the real world. This is like its own like Pokemon world, yeah. where like Pokemon are just like a normal thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like um, Why so... do things I like have to be bad? Aww. And I'm like have to. But like happening. Nintendo and the the Pokemon company are like working like really closely with Warner Brothers on this, and like I I heard about the project like years ago where I I heard about it and I was like no that's no way that's gonna happen, 
But apparently it is. Yep. <laughs> now that we have a trailer. So who was the person that was like, you know who'd be the perfect voice for Pikachu? Danny DeVito. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody wanted Danny, Danny DeVito. DeVito but <laughs> the thing is, I think people like they actually asked him, and he was like, I don't know what a Pokemon is, so he just didn't do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what's a Pokemon, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know how you can avoid knowing what a Pokemon is at this point. Ignorance. He's too busy eating boiled eggs. Boiled eggs. I, I wanted to, because I I really I like the way the movie looks. Uh, the Pika, people are like, yeah, it's on Candy Valley. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I don't really care. I uh, don't think about it too hard. But I'm just saying, man. If I had a Pikachu, if that's what Pikachu look like in the real world, oh, and they, no, no one can speak. Real world. In the real world. In, in the real world, like I said. <laughs> yes. Um. Then I would want twenty. He's cute as shit, man. Like, he's so adorable. Excuse me. All right. He's cute. He is an intelligent creature. Don't <laughs> care. I want to give him belly rubs. I know that you wouldn't understand this, but we don't. Whoa. <laughs> We went there. We went there. <laughs> no, but the the part of the trailer where he's like, I, I know you don't understand me, but if you shoot me with that stapler gun, then I will electrocute you. Like the way, like the the CGI model moves, it's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, they they had um an artist that worked on like fake um like realistic Pokemon like on on like deviant art and stuff. They had mm -hmm. an artist like help with the uh the concepts uh, uh -huh. for like the. The, the seven months in production yeah so dang it's pretty neat i like it Do and then, uh... also there's a there's a molga in there too yeah i saw a molga there's... there there's a lot of like i i can't wait to see what other pokemon are going to be in it i saw yeah, there's yeah. actually you can see joltik on like some of the tables oh, i don't even know it. i don't even know what that is <laughs> it's a, it's a little, is that gen, is that gen, it's little three? gen five five oh, okay i should know yeah. it then dang. yeah and you can actually see uh uh, a Lampardon also in the background. That was kind of cool. Uh, what? <laughs> Lampardon. A Lampardon. A Lampardon was right next to the Dingle Flop. <laughs> it makes no, my Dingle that... Flop. You know, you, know, you know what's funny? That there was an Audino standing next to a lady. Oh, She's yeah. Like, I, like, Audino is 3'7". Uh, this lady had to be real short to be almost the same size of this. Or that Adino just happened to be really tall. <laughs> yeah. I was, but who's ever paid attention to Pokemon sizes or weight for that matter? <laughs> Onyx? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah no, nobody, nobody <laughs> like uh, pays attention to that. Um, <laughs> but for... Um, I was trying to think of something else that was in there. Oh yeah, Charizard. Uh, the way Charizard yeah. looks, with like his kind of scaly. Mm -hmm. um, I guess they, they wanted to make him look more uh, reptile-like for uh, being a big dragon. <laughs> yeah. um, Psyduck. And the, the shot when like he, yeah, he's, yeah. he's uh, uh, under Pikachu, where you can see like the the like saliva in his mouth. It was like, oh my god, they put like a lot of detail a in the Charizard's detail, mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. So a lot of people are upset with what Jigglypuff looks like. Yeah, though I think it would be more <laughs> creepy if it was flesh. What? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it made out of cartoon? <laughs> See, uh, the thing is, like, I, I saw a tweet earlier. It's like, I find it a little odd and off-putting with Pokemon. It feels the need to make the Pokemon look as lifelike as possible when, like, other things like Yokai Watch have, like, a cartoony look. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't think they felt the need to they, make it look yeah. this way it's just it's like an art style that exists on the planet yeah that they can yeah choose. i mean and I pokemon also still, like, still have like a cartoonish quality cartoonish to look yeah. yeah god that's I, terrifying I, 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 I also saw somebody uh post away like why are why are there like uh, uh like the anime and uh cartoon interpretations of the pokemon like on posters and walls and stuff i was like you realize we have like cartoon interpretations of animals <laughs> <laughs> everywhere, like everywhere. Yeah. Why isn't this picture of an elephant photorealistic? <laughs> oh boy. Sorry. I'm excited to watch it. I, I ain't even like that about Pokemon like too much. I, I kind of like it. Yeah. I'll watch it. I just can't wait to see the rendered version of uh, Ash's girlfriend. There's no Ash in this. 
Who Misty, May, yeah. Dawn, other ones? I I isn't isn't Misty the one true pairing with Ash? Uh, I don't know. It depends on how old you are, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm young in spirit. But did Misty ever get her bike back? No. I'm... No, no, no. He never got her bike back. But I'm 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 wondering with uh, Detective Pikachu, um, if like this, uh, I, I saw a video that Arlo did, uh, his impressions on it of whether like this is just them testing the waters to see if they can make a like another Pokemon movie, <laughs> and uh, uh, possibly with also um the Mario movie. Um, coming out the year after. I uh, hope they make a, a sequel to the Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't. With John Lake was yep, and... yeah. and though, though the Mario movie is going to be completely animated, though it is going to be going to be by Illumination, so I'm not don't have too high hopes. Uh, yeah. And see, the thing about Detective Pikachu, I have high hopes that this is going to be the best video game movie. Now that is not hard to surpass. Yeah, it's, it's not hard to do, but yeah. still. <laughs> You can be the best when there isn't one. <laughs> better, than, <laughs> better than Wreck It Ralph. Well, Wreck It Ralph is not based. On I know it doesn't so count. It's a different kind of video game adaptation. Yeah. Just, yeah. just kidding. Yeah. Remember when I took a screen cap of uh, Human Shrek, and I was like, "Hey, look, Sarah, it's a leaked image." Of I remember Ralph that. Too. Yes. You were like, you caught on to my bullshit pretty quickly. You're like, what the fuck are you on about, Saber? <laughs> well, it was. I recognized it as a screenshot of Human Shrek. <laughs> not dumb. Oh my god, you did, you did cheap Bogo. I just realized what you just did. Uh, you uh, just uh, picked that up? That was a few minutes. I, I, I'm tired. <laughs> well, I'm looking at this Pikachu point at his butt, okay? <laughs> Give me a second. He's doing what to his butt? He's, he's pointing towards his butt. He's going to electrocute you. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm watching this on loop. <laughs> it's that's, really cute. That's what I threaten people when I point at my butt. All right. Oh, well, gosh. another uh, <laughs> trailer came out, as was mentioned earlier. Toy Story 4's teaser was released and basically gave away the whole movie. No. Yes. I, mean, it is I, a teaser, so I, I didn't really got... put anything in it. I got bored of it. I yeah. skipped through it. I was like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was a very weird teaser. It yeah, very much a teaser of a teaser. Yeah. And Sporkman has an identity crisis. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. I, I guess that's something like, that they metaphysical stuff where it's like, what constitutes a toy's existence? Yeah, I I was wondering <laughs> if, if what where where they would go with the fourth movie. I was like, oh, so I guess they're going to talk about like arts and crafts and like how <laughs> they relate to like being a toy. Yeah. Uh, I'm alive. <laughs> So, I mean, I guess you could argue that in the first movie, they sort of did that with what Sid did to the, his toys. Yeah. Arts and crafts. Sid was a genius, and now his progress got stunted. And now he's a trash man. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's trash. He's trash. <laughs> nah, um, was, was, did anyone get, like, nostalgic feels, even though, like, it hasn't been that long since we haven't had a last Toy Story. Uh, <laughs> that long? It's been eight years. It's been eight years since Toy Story 3. Ooh. Yep. 2010. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, time sure flies when you're having fun. I've been having a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least we know the oh, Brony God. fandom is only a few years old, right? I love the poster that they released with like Woody looking like he's about to do like a country single right yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah uh so yeah toy story 4 let's i guess we'll see how that goes yeah i i mean did anyone else get anything out of the teaser i don't think so just about a fork man who doesn't want to be a who doesn't think he's a toy and yet he's we missed the music. He like both light here and didn't think he was a toy and a fork man. oh so well, what, what happens to the arts and crafts when like when like uh, uh what's her, what's her name the uh the girl that uh uh has Andy's toys oh, now? Um, Bonnie? Matilda. Bonnie. 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 Yeah. Well, what happens when Bonnie is, is like bored of the arts and crafts toys and like rips them apart and like makes something new with them? <laughs> are they gonna be? Are, are like Woody and Buzz and all of them gonna be like horrified when she starts ripping them apart and making something new? She just becomes the next Sid, and everyone's like, <laughs> Oh no. 
<laughs> Andy has to come back with guns to save him. <laughs> Home alone, you know. He just kicks the door down. Bonnie's like throwing paint cans at Andy, and he's like, "Whoa!" Oh, like dodge him. I'm gonna kill that kid. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Does that mean you can put like two little googly eyes on a pan can and it gives it life? Yes. Uh, yeah. I think only if you play with it. Like, there's like this yeah. whole Pixar theory that like emotion drives things, and that hold if on. you play with it, then that if it I put, comes alive. If I play with myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, What's your question? <laughs> As long as it has googly eye saver, it needs yeah. eyes. I just can't wait for the inside out sequel, outside in. Oh boy. We're gonna have a really good weekend. Someone just fell over, I think. Um, does anybody want to talk about the new Overwatch short and characters? Sure. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about Overwatch. So, yeah, so yep. a new character just came out for Overwatch and she has <laughs> she has these powers where she can zap purple mist or gold mist. And I can't remember her name, but she can teleport kind of like <laughs> You're talking about Moira, but that's not the... Yeah, she's new. Just... Yeah, you're talking we're we're talking about Ash. Yes. Um, her ultimate is her ability to summon a better hero. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bob, do something. Uh, I love Bob. Why isn't he just like his own hero? <laughs> or right? Bob? God damn it. Because Bob's a bitch. I do fucking. I I really love. I love the fact that he stands with her though, like as a you know part of her victory pose and emo well not emotes but like when she's on the skin thing i don't know skin gallery where you can I, see I like liked... the different skins that he has as well like they're making skins for two characters basically oh nice and i'm like Woo! that's cool kind of like yeah, diva I, I liked it when, during the trailer or during the animation i was like oh cool it's gonna be echo who's gonna be the new hero i wish and uh, and then Jeff from Overwatch is like, you know, there's a lot of characters it could be the next Ooh. hero, is it the triplets, is it this robot sniper, no face son of a bitch, or are we gonna nerf Mercy again? Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's just Jeff from Overwatch saying hi, Jeff from Overwatch. No, here. I think they <laughs> didn't. Jeff like allude to the fact that they are still working on Echo, and she'll probably be added later. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm sure a lot of these, a lot of these characters will be added later. Yeah. Um, but it was, I, I was not expecting to see. I wasn't not expecting uh, Bob to be included because I know he he's like it'd be cool if Bob was a hero or maybe it's Ash. <laughs> and then when Bob showed up as the ultimate, I'm like, oh cool, so he is in there. Yeah. Um, it's also like I don't know the sexual tension between in that anima <laughs> animation between Ash and McCree was like going through the roof. Oh my god, and there's so much. <laughs> You wanna fuck? I haven't seen <laughs> you since we were wrangling in the hay. Been pile. a while. He promised right. you'd ride. Hey there, sugar cube. <laughs> Applejack. <laughs> What's it gonna be, McCree? Like the wink that up? he gives her when he's like, oh. "I've been kind of busy." <laughs> I'm like, "Shit, McCree." God damn. Getting another girls and boys. <laughs> Have you seen yeah, my deviant Funny animations that we made. With like uh, the SFM where it had like McCree ride his motorbike uh, past <laughs> Ash and she's like McCree that's my bike and then it has him just like screaming as he runs his bike into a rock and blows <laughs> up. <laughs> I saw someone do an edit of like um, the actual Ash trailer where like it has her being killed by multiple characters after she does like her cool stuff like when she <laughs> shot Genji backwards, he just like did his little you know thing forward Work. and like killed her. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and then the Brigitte. I have a question. Yep. Why is Ash in Overwatch and not into the Detective Pikachu movie? Do do do. Asking the big question. Was Ash a Pokemon character? 
Yeah. 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 There's the main one. You yeah. mentioned yeah. him just a few minutes ago. You were like, <laughs> you oh, is Ash's girlfriend in the movie? Yeah, well, I, th- I was just being clever. Okay. I, that... I was talking about the Ash from Overwatch. Her girlfriend. Okay. Oh, okay. What was that? What was that? I watched the video. Okay. How dare you? How dare you? You know what sounds really good right now? What? Chick fil A. Yeah. We should get that for dinner later. You all want to get to the QA? No! Next up's QA. All right. (laughs) So, um, oh, wait, we didn't talk about the freaking thing that's happening this weekend? Oh, the winning? I yeah, thought we we're... talked enough about it, but okay, uh, we uh, want to talk more about it. Never mind. <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean, never it mind. hasn't happened yet. There's only so much we can talk about. But there's gonna be food, and that's it. Okay. You're right. And <laughs> that's it. Q and A. There's no ceremony though. Just. Food. All right. Well, what do you want to what do you want to talk about for the wedding? It's gonna be fun. Okay. What about what about, what about... that's it. Good. Hopefully, hopefully everything works out with traveling people. Hopefully Saber doesn't get lost. <laughs> By the way, I just I saw people talking about it also. Um, uh, California is once again in the process of burning itself down. Yeah. Both politically and no, just kidding. Ha! But no, the yeah, we've got so many wildfires, yeah. and uh, yeah. we we are okay yeah. where we're at. Um, because I know some people were asking earlier, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's bad. It's very bad. Like I don't know. It, it's it always kind of just baffles me, as I'm sure like people that don't deal with fires a lot about how this stuff can get so out of control that people are losing their lives and whatnot. But yeah, there is some serious stuff <laughs> with these forest fires and whatnot. And mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been crazy. Yeah. So, so I seriously hope that they're able to, you know, get ahead of them. And yeah, any of you Californians listening, stay safe. If you get an evacuation order, please keep, uh, you know, do it. <laughs> get out of there. Yeah, don't don't be like I'm gonna water my house with a hose because yeah. some people do that and it it doesn't do anything. Though I'd probably still be that guy who's like, screw this. I'm going to water the house with my hose. <laughs> no. um, Not even my garden hose. All right. Shall we get into questions? Yes. Um, also, just a reminder. Um, super chats. Super chats are a thing uh, mostly used during question time. Yep. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, so yeah, with the super chats, uh, if you do send us a super chat, we will prioritize your question. Uh, we will go till 7.30, so that gives us 20 minutes to go through questions. You can also submit questions on Twitter. We can't guarantee that we'll get to them, yeah. but we will try to get to as many questions as we can. But Super Chats has the priorities. Priority. Priority. So, sir, do you have a question you want to start with? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do. Flynn right here says, Rick and Ralph 2 won't start in theaters around here until end of January. How am I supposed to survive? What over in Europe? I'm so sorry. Why? Well, yeah, you know that's a thing. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where they are, but I'm so sorry that this has happened to you. North Korea. You just, <laughs> you just gotta stick it oh, out. It, it might be, might be the UK, because I know UK like for some reason gets Disney movies a lot later. Japan is like one of the latest to get Disney movies. Like they might see it next year, sometime, someday, hmm. some year. But, but yeah, I, I, that's. That's unfortunate. Sarah, right. when are you going to see it? When are mm-hmm. you going to see Record Ralph? I'm going to see it um, the day it comes out. <laughs> November 21st? I just realized, does it come out on Thanksgiving? No. When does it come out? It comes out. The day before Thanksgiving. Yeah, the day before. Oh, like the Wednesday? Yeah. Now, is it the Wednesday night, which means it plays on Tuesday? In, yeah, it'll play on Tuesday night. Yeah. Uh, that's what happened with Unless Moana. Unless we want to see it at El Capitan, then it would be Wednesday. Wait, then that means that that means that, uh, that means that I can get popcorn oh. for half off. Well, if we go Tuesday. Well, we would. Well, we? I mean, well, what if we go to El Capitan on Wednesday? 
Oh, talk about it then, you nerds. No, this is important. Pause the podcast. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Yeah. Um, okay, so Flynn. Yeah, uh, good luck. How, how do you survive? I don't know. <laughs> What is that noise? What? It was an airplane. Uh, <laughs> next up was Jory. Uh, all right. Well, Jory's got a question. Jory's got a question. With the new teasers that came out today, are you guys looking forward to Toy Story 4 or Detective Pikachu? Oh, so if we had oh. to pick one, which one seems more exciting to you? Pikachu. Wow. Also, yeah, good P- luck to Ray and Sarah on your special day. Thank you. Thank you. What are y'all's answers? Pikachu. 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 Yeah, I mean, that's coming out first, so yeah. Toy yeah. Story 3. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> Toy Story 4, The Reckoning. Oh, we already answered some of these <laughs> yeah. questions. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Anime Guy asks, with the Detective Pikachu movie coming out next year, are you going to see, the, see Pokemon The Power of Us being released in a few weeks? Is that the mm-hmm. anime one? That's uh yeah. Uh, it's a new uh, anime movie coming out. I didn't have plans to. Um, We're probably gonna be gone. I mostly just play the games. I don't watch yeah. much of the the first movies anymore. the first Pokemon movie that came out made Sarah cry. No, I didn't. Yeah, when all the Pokemans cried. <laughs> no, I didn't cry. <laughs> yeah. I watched that movie with my dad in theaters, and he fell asleep. <laughs> he fell asleep. Yeah. That's really funny. <laughs> Were you like insulted? When he fell <laughs> no. Were you like thanks, Dad? I was too busy enjoying it. <laughs> How do you know he fell asleep? Was he snoring? Oh, I, I looked over and I was just like, ah, okay. <laughs> you're gonna point stuff out to him. And you're like, oh, okay. Um, let's see. Nora Mermaid asks, who would you have had play Detective Pikachu instead of Ryan Reynolds? Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Uh, Anybody I'm gonna else? say the Affleck guy. Oh god. They got fired. You know what's funny that yeah, the voice in um in the voice in the game is closer to Danny DeVito. <laughs> What's his name? The guy no, no, it's the still Yaga. like nowhere near his voice, but Gilbert it's still Godfrey. closer. Thank you. Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey. Oh my god. <laughs> Nick Cage. Don't make me electrocute you! Yeah. Ignore Spider Man. <laughs> Next up is Detective Pikachu. Alright, um, I, uh, they should have had Morgan Freeman do Pikachu's voice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, um, thoughts? Oh, well, we kind of went over this we one. We did. I'll see y'all ask thoughts on passing of most influential uh, comic book of the world, Stanley. He was the most influential <laughs> comic book of, of all the world. time. Stanley. What do you think the most influential character he made was? Uh, um, Mickey Mouse. Yes. Sarah's looking up. I'm looking up a list of Char- all of the characters, characters that he made because I, I I don't know. Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, probably Spider Man. Yeah, probably Spider Man. Because really, that's the you one, think like, more? Know... You think Spider Man is more than uh the Punisher? Yeah. Or King Pen? Yeah. Or Doctor Doom? Yeah. Or. Uh, Jonah Jameson. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everyone agree with that one when you say it? But because... How about the Living Tribunal? What? I thought. Oh. I don't know. You were okay. going to say the Living Tombstone. The Living Tombstone. It's funny because uh, Tombstone is a character <laughs> in Marvel. Oh. <laughs> we found you out. Finn? Da, da. Fin Fang Foom. Is that like a? Is that I'm already a... Wolverine? I'm already Wolverine. I guess I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. Is that from The Incredibles? No. Oh, can I point you out? I I gotta tell y'all something, all right? But it's yeah. a big old plot hole. In the Incredibles. Tell us yeah. about big holes. Okay, so in The Incredibles two, mm-hmm. at the end, they're trying to stop the boat. All right. Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> so they're trying to stop the boat from hitting the city. Mr. Incredible's like, okay, so we have to turn the boat and stop it somehow. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he proceeds to take the anchor, mm-hmm. rip the anchor head off of the, the chain, yeah. and then tie it around himself instead. I'm like, are you serious? Like, you had an anchor. I should have done that. Would have done the trick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what 
designed for. Yeah. Hmm. With the boat going that fast, though, like, that would have been very bad for the people on board. Rather than well, trying to turn it and you slow know, it down. You know, for, for all their superpowers, you think that, like, it would have been a piece of cake. <laughs> You're like, okay, it's a boat. A small little... Boyd could have made, like, a huge portal. And, like, yeah, with, put the boat what? somewhere else. With, Where would she put that boat? Well, what portal would she use? <laughs> Just put it <laughs> farther <laughs> back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. This incredible can grow a giant butt. Here. <laughs> and then... Yeah. And put it in. Uh, here's a question from Ryan asking thoughts on the fully oh wait this isn't what i was thinking thoughts on the fully animated garfield movie being directed by mark dindall director of cats don't dance the emperor's new groove and chicken little he did chicken little i guess so cats don't dance and chicken little on in my opinion are very much on the same caliber of movie <laughs> i know you're joking but it hurts even the <laughs> joke hurts i mean chicken little's yeah, probably a little bit like... better <laughs> How can he make two cult classics and one cult hate? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. What? I, I think people are unfair to Chicken Little. For the record, I got a kick out of that stupid movie. So, well, it is a stupid movie. I mean, uh, everyone wait. hold your horses. Horses hold your breath. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I love it. Uh, thoughts on uh, so it's fully animated, which is a good good news. Yeah. I'm fucking tired of the live action you know garfields um god i gotta eat my lasagna <laughs> <laughs> um but, but my question is could could this movie possibly beat the live action garfield movies or is it not even fair to compare wasn't bill murray drunk for that stuff or isn't there like wasn't he like it's probably the only way they got him to do it so there's there's some weird like trivia about that movie and how it was made. <laughs> oh, you gotta look into this. But uh... also, I'll, also, I want to say that uh, you said fair to compare. For some reason, it just sounds like like an MLP episode or something. <laughs> wow, it does sound like one. <laughs> fair to compare, dress to impress. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Kieran asking, Gen Five has special looks. What? Oh, is this some funny? Funny, I guess. And when do you think we'll see it? On the Jinfine internet? has special looks on the internet. What's your thoughts? And when did you? When do you uh, think? I we'll haven't. See I haven't it? looked at. Oh, it's... Generation Five of My Little Pony. I I was I'm on the. Have to look that up. No, don't you no. dare! You can look away from the computer screen. Oh, no, oh, it's burned. <laughs> We're no longer on the same boat. <laughs> Sarah, uh, I'm not even. Wait, I'm not even finding. You're gonna find... I think they should give it like a second. Like, can you give me a second to not be pony? <laughs> Please. Uh, I don't know where I don't know where this stuff is. I, don't, I can't find it other than the stuff right, that might be we fake. Can watch that video. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so, okay, here's a question. Jazz King, I'm gonna modify this a little bit. Jazz King asking, "What are? Oh, I know. That's literally the question. <laughs> what are your favorite Stanley cameos?" Um, shit, man. I gotta remember all of them. Big Hero okay. Six was pretty lit. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty surprising too. Like, I don't know why I was like so the one where I'm Avengers, and where he's like, "You all have never seen the aliens right. before." Turn them inside out and then <laughs> front and back again. <laughs> um, isn't there one where he cusses? I think so. He's like, "If I see fucking Jack Kirby, I'm gonna kill him." <laughs> 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 I like the one that's in Spider-Man: Homecoming, where <laughs> there it's but like just a bunch of old people in like a, apartments like yelling at Spider-Man, yeah. and then like Stanley's like, "Margaret, how's your mother?" They're like, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cute. Um, There's the librarian one from Spider-Man with uh, Andrew Garfield. That's pretty good. Where he's like, oh yeah, yeah, that one's pretty iconic. There's a Deadpool one where he's at a stripper. Uh, like a store oh. joint. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Wasn't there one where he's like in a record shop and like listening to music while there's like shit going on behind him? Oh yeah, that was that was Amazing Spider-Man. Oh okay. There's also one where he's like, I think he's hanging out with the with uh, some of the Watchers though, like on some planet, if I recall. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm like you, where I'm like, oh, I, I'd have to. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> One of the best ones was from this year, and it's from the Teen Titans Go movie. Uh... What? Yeah, he had a cameo in it. <laughs> We're gonna have what what happened? It's... What are you, yeah, what are you doing? Like... Huh? What happened? Oh, you, you just have to see it for yourself. It, it's great. Okay. You're going to make <laughs> us like watch... It's an extended cameo, routine. too. I was close to watching that on the uh, plane the last time I flew. Why? I was very close. Because I I want I genuinely want to see it. Like, But why didn't we go see it in theaters, then? Because... Well, we could have gotten popcorn. No, because there was stuff. We've got... Super Chat! Super Chat! From... And with seven minutes to go. Uh, from Fritz Roll... What are your guys' favorite brony fanon slash canon couple in the fandom? Also, Race and Sarah, I wish you guys the best in your marriage. Thank you very much. So, favorites. You guys are cutting out. What was that? You're cutting out. Um, no. Sorry. What is your guys' favorite brony fanon or canon couple in the fandom? As in real people or in the yeah. show? That's well, what, that's that's what brony, not okay. 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 Saber Spark and AC Race Bus is pretty good. Yeah. I even ship it. Do you ship it, Sarah? Sure. I know Laura ships it. I don't have the tendency to ship real people. <laughs> me, but... me, me neither. Oh, I do. Me neither. It's a problem. <laughs> like, like it's weird because like there's a line where there's like the more of like the obvious joking of it, yeah. and then there's some where it's like you're freaking me out. Like, like <laughs> you're 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 pushing this a little too hard yeah. with real people. Yeah. But, but like I said, like I get a kick out of like the obvious, fun ones. Yeah. But then yeah, then there's the ones where it's like, haha. Yeah. So canon brony canon couples. Uh, who's your who's your favorite like canon couple, Sarah? You and me. Yay! That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's great. Um, there's also other classic uh brony couples like you know john delancey and his yacht well. i ship that one pretty good <laughs> i'm afraid to do anymore <laughs> you, you got some stuff to say <laughs> you got some feelings no no i i, I just like i just like poking fun at uh, people that we have and haven't worked with but uh, uh Ozzy all oh wait did anybody else want to answer that yeah question? any any other favorite um, things mine is Vincent Tong with anyone yeah that's a good one <laughs> that's a really good one oh Quiet Storm sends a super chat saying did you guys get a kick out of the art I drew for your B days heck it's yeah just... heckin yep. yeah I loved it I like it... the dinosaur I got I got a picture. Yeah, she did. Did you see it? Yeah, she did. Did yeah. you see who's in it? <laughs> yeah, she did. Did you like it? Uh -huh. Because like pretty it. good. Yeah, she was very good. I, I want to print it and put it on a frame. Why are you always talking like a bunch of cockney <laughs> foods? <laughs> because we want to. I don't <laughs> have a cockney spaniel. Oh, you know what's funny? Sorry, this is really random, but me and Race watched Ferdinand the other day, and we we had we had, oh my god we watched Ducktales right before watching Ferdinand. Have you guys seen Ferdinand? Who here's seen? I have. Okay. I have. Uh, they've there's a bull in Ferdinand that is David Tennant, and he is doing exactly the Scrooge McDuck voice. Oh and my god, you're right. Somebody watched <laughs> Ferdinand and went, that. "That's our Scrooge McDuck." <laughs> And everyone's like, "Really, David Tennant's gonna be your Scrooge McDuck?" And and they're well, like, "Well, DuckTales 2017 premiered before Ferdinand." Oh, did it? Oh, Sarah, yeah, yeah. I got Ferdinand it wrong. Came out in December of okay. 2017. Okay, so, so the makers of Ferdinand were like, "We need Scrooge McDuck." And that's <laughs> David Tennant, like literally, it's like everything. If you closed your eyes, even with your eyes open, you're like, Scrooge is talking, but the <laughs> bowl is moving bowl. his lips. Is Scottish? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Um, all right. Anime guy asks, "What's 
one underrated anime uh, sorry what is one underrated animated series from the 2000s you want rebooted or continue for me it's code lyoko what uh that one show with the foreheads (laughs) (laughs) that's the show with the foreheads it sure is I watched that I watched that show as a kid and I enjoyed it. I have no idea what that means. Uh the characters foreheads. the characters in that show have like enormously huge foreheads. Here let me pull it up. Code Lyoko. Does anybody so else know Code Lyoko? An an anime anime series. series. Holy crap, that's freaky. Yeah. That you, I don't like underrated it. animated series that you want to be rebooted. Why? Yeah, or continued. Why? Or continued. Why did they need Man, that? I don't want to give the same answer I always give, but it's really the one I want. <laughs> Do it then. Do What's it. the one you want? It's Looney Tunes 2011. It's so good. Oh. It's so funny. It got no, like, not nearly enough attention. It sucks. Is that 2000s or 2010s? Wait, did, is it, did it, was it 2000s? Yeah. Yeah, 2000s. Oh, I didn't miss that bit. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it is 2010s because it's 2011. Okay, 20, oh, 2000s. Yeah, yeah. For, t- for, t- for me, it's um, uh, My Life's a Teenage Robot. I want it to continue. Danny Phantom. To continue, continue, or, or <laughs> something. It's a Phantom. Danny Phantom, but without Wood Hartman. What am I Remove him from his own project. I, don't, be great. I, I just think you're being an introvert right now, and oh my right. God. you should feel guilty. <laughs> I'm such a selfish asshole. <laughs> the 2000s animated. Thank does that say? Does that say there's been one million four hundred thousand episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants? Is that what I read? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I no, know. that is not what you read. <laughs> hmm. Holy crap! I want SpongeBob to come back. Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> okay, fine. The Simpsons. Uh... Uh, no, legit. Phineas and Ferb. Yes. Yeah. Oh, is that show done? I, I, yeah, I have no idea. It yeah, is. it's okay. done. I miss it. Let's see. I miss Dr. Doofenshmirtz. He's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I don't think I watched a lot of cartoons right. in 2000. <laughs> it all started with my birth. Both of my parents failed to show up. <laughs> <laughs> I just loved, like, the writing oh, and everything was on cue, and I loved the bromance between uh, Perry and Dr. Doofenshmirtz. It's like, like, yeah, they were always like going at each other, but there, there were those like moments where, I don't know, they just like really like console each other. Yep. And it's just so funny. It's, oh, I love it. What do you say, Sarah? I don't know. I'm having a hard time remembering which cartoons were in the 2000s. Sarah smoked a lot of weed during no, the 2000s. Just, I have a bad memory <laughs> and like, I don't think I watched a lot of cartoons in that point of time. I'm not sure. Cause what? I, I remember watching Code Lyoko, but like that's... You didn't watch a lot of I, cartoons during um, a part of your life? Uh, Sarah. Oh. Cur- well, You're looking at uh, all of them. I, cur- well, I don't, don't want to cheat. This is like, an easy cheat answer. Not too what is your answer? No, I don't want to cheat. I'm working on it. And some of these... Because my, che- my cheat answer would be Avatar. Already getting made. <laughs> Avatar. Some of the ones that I would say are already getting made, like Courage and uh, Zim, Invader Zim. I think they should bring Adventure Time back. <laughs> that was 2010. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, have you heard that, like, I guess Disney is like, hey guys, we're thinking of rebooting a very popular series of ours from a long time ago called Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, what? Stupid. Why would you really? Just, just, I mean, if they want to like do stories that don't involve a lot of the pirates already established, that's fine. But you don't Anthology have to like. Anthology series. Anthology. <laughs> yeah, I did not watch cartoons that much in this time period, man. <laughs> Yeah, it was a dark time. It was, it was, yeah. I mean, like it was around that like 2006 time when I was just like, boy, I can't do nothing with oh. this television. I wonder if that's partially what what led to how big some of the cartoons were that were successful during this time, like SpongeBob. Mm-hmm. Is that I, mm-hmm. I feel like this was the kind of the beginning of. Oh wait, was Foster's Home 2000s? Yeah, it was. <gasps> Foster's home is uh, <laughs> everywhere. Uh, there was a... Okay. <laughs> was Hero gonna say something? No, I sh- I no. <laughs> um Oh You okay? What? <laughs> 
Um, let's go with Foster's. Yeah, Foster's. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we are at the seven thirty mark, Sarah. Mm -hmm. So should we do one more question? Sure. Okay. Well, we'll... I lied. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes. And, and, and everyone is going to be like, ugh, bad over Foster. I love S. Cold by Ginger oh, so yeah. much. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> so that one. one. I do remember that one. I watched that one quite a bit. Did anyone I mean, else? Like, yeah, boy, you watch Cold by Ginger. I'm like, yes, step off. <laughs> there were important episodes about growing up in those. Indeed. Yes. I... Why, why? All right. Sarah, what should be our last question that oh, we're going to take out I was going to leave that up to you. <laughs> well, like, because Jazz King asked, uh, how about favorite Doofenshmirtz backstories? But I'd honestly have to go back and, like, yeah. like review. Yeah. yeah, he's got so many. It's hard to really... Yeah, like, literally every episode. Well, I'm well, raised by Asa. Well, oh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. You gotta super chat. Yep. We got a Rambo super Dash, chat. 21. Love I don't you. know why I didn't just finish the sentence. But... <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you got it, you got, you, you get, you, you love got, you your... got it. <laughs> Rambo Dash 21 that. says, "Love your ra low budget series race. Thank What's you. What's your fave animations in the MLP fandom? Also, I'm a huge fan, and sadly, BernieCon will be ending. I love your vlog. Oh, well, Rambo Dash 21. I'll tell you this. Um, first off, thanks again for watching the low budget series. Uh, that's one of the things that I discussed at the beginning of this uh, podcast. Is uh, that's one of the series that come January when Sarah and I get to settle back down from wedding and honeymoon and all that. We uh, that's that's when stuff like that will be back on on the block. So more to come from that. Uh, as far as favorite animations in the MLP fandom. Um, Hmm. Um, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Uh, friendship is manly is pretty epic. <laughs> oh, I, like, I like the panda um... thing. What? The Kanashi panda, the Kanashi panda one. The one where yeah. the guys yeah are just doing it. Yeah. There's two animations with Luna that are pretty good. Yeah. Um, there's one that has like an original song, and then there's one that has the song from Hocus Pocus. Yeah, the, children, the time oh yeah, that does I also, of course, want to hear everyone, all the podcasters, uh, what your favorite animations in the fandom. Yeah. Lullaby um, for I... a princess. What? What? Lullaby for a princess. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that's one of the ones. Oh. I like um uh mystery bins ones he did, um like rhythm is magic, that was really 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 fantastic I, I saw that in person like when he was like showing it off at a uh, convention i was like oh my god because he hadn't uh, posted it yet um but it looked re really nice that, that that was like one of the first animations that like really really impressed me i was like wow this is really well done and then he went on to make the the mystery skull stuff so cool hmm. and now he's popular <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh i uh i i got a big kick when uh, animated James released it, his uh, the Beat It music video mm -hmm. that he did yeah. because there were a lot of us oh, who yeah. were like oh! <laughs> and got all excited when when we appeared and and that so that was cool. That was cool. I hear myself. I hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't hear uh, it. I like that. I, I like that. I don't know. I don't know if anyone really talked about that. One. Smile it HD. That's it. That's the one. No one talked about it. Why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, cupcakes. Yeah. Uh, Raycord Legends. This is like Discord, but it was like a Rayman Legends almost kind of animation. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Really freaking cool. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of stuff that me and Saber showed on Ronnie Breakdown like throughout the years that I completely forgot about. Yeah. Someone <sighs> said Double Rain Boom. Someone said Snowdrop. No, no. I still have not watched that. Like, I, I don't know why. Like, the day it came out, I was like, oh, I'll watch that a little bit later. And it's oh, like yeah. Years later. Saber and I. Saber. Saber. Go on. We're both talking about Saber. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I was going to say, Saber told me about this series of animations that I haven't seen called uh, Doors. Um, oh, I love Doors. 
Wars. Yeah, I, I got to watch those because uh, Saber told me they're, they're really great. Taking it out of context is just great. <laughs> just, I love Toys. Oh, and there were also the the epic Wub time, epic oh. Cupcake time. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times. Pip in the chat says, "Dot movies, people, come on." <laughs> <laughs> that that was that was a time, wasn't it? That yeah, was a thing. That was a thing. Um. Yeah. The beginning of the decade. Anyone else have an answer for that? I think we got through just about everyone there. Yeah. Um, I, the, the one thing I was going to say about Saber is that uh, I believe Meredith uh, is the one who did the voice for Snowdrop. Maybe. And I hear myself again. But, uh, yeah. Um, I think that. I think I'm right there. But uh, yeah, we've had an opportunity to to work with her a couple times at some of these conventions. I just wanted to finish up the last part of Rainbow Dash 21's uh, note. We're saying also I'm a huge fan, and sadly, BronyCon will be ending. I love your vlogs. Thank you so much for watching the vlogs. I, I have so much fun putting those together. Um, I'll uh, I'll probably end up vlogging like <laughs> the honeymoon or something. I, 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 I think we're also going to talk to our videographer about having a, a, a youtube edit for our wedding yeah. to maybe share with everyone so, so that should be fun um but uh, again I, I saw some people asking uh, in regards to like the react videos and whatnot i i mentioned this at the beginning i'm gonna probably release a video tomorrow talking about it and uh yeah <laughs> what are you guys talking about Do they not hear us? I don't know. Now they're quiet, but they mute themselves. Who's quiet? Uh, Saber and Laura. They were kind oh, of yeah, talking in the them. background. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so, anyways, uh, with the roller coaster of the couple months, you know, uh, not just the past month, but what's to come in the next month or two, yeah. um, a lot of the Bronies Rack stuff shall be getting back. Uh, into motion right now we are probably less than a week of editing away from having the uh, Bernie track to the MLP movie out so it'll just be a matter of time when I'm able to kind of pick things up and and be completely ready to put all of my time attention and energy into that so um, that'll be probably sometime in 2019 early but yeah I uh, still appreciate everyone's patience as I've said and We'll be uh, yeah, pushing more YouTube videos out once I am able to get everything back in order. Yep. So, uh, yeah, with that, that's going to be a wrap-up here. Um, we're going to... The yeah. next podcast. I see, I see Pip asking if, if Saber and I are going to be at BabsCon again. I hope so. It always helps to let, let the conventions know if you want us there. So please let them know. Cause we, I'd love to be back at Babscon. Love Babscon. Yeah. Saber ate a lemon. At <laughs> so. uh, we'll be back on the twenty eighth, just before we go on our honeymoon. Oh my gosh! What perfect timing! Yeah, just so before we yeah. Go on two our days before Sarah and I leave for our honeymoon, we will be back, and then, and then the podcast does land on a day that we are going to be at sea on our cruise. For the honeymoon so, so we'll, we're probably just gonna need to take that one off yeah take that one off. so we'll so yeah. so our next podcast is on what day the 28th november 28th it's a wednesday and then we're gonna basically take a month off and i think come back to to everybody the day after christmas um if we want to do that yeah the day after christmas That's I, th th this should be good if anybody else has any objections to that please let us know but um but then we could talk about presents yeah yeah presents 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 yeah we'll do our uh christmas holidays or get it holidays holidays H -A -U -L -I -D -A. Uh, um <laughs> i just saw thornwing ask if we're going to go to everfree i hope so i want to Do you love Everfree? Yeah. 
<laughs> when you took that deep breath, I'm like, what's she going to say right now? <laughs> well, it took me a little bit to process what you were saying because I was not paying attention to you. Well. Northwest, another All awesome right. convention out there. Good group of people yeah. doing some good stuff. Mm -hmm. So with right. that, uh, we're going to wrap things up. <laughs> and now Thorne Week says, go get married. Sarah, are <laughs> you ready to eat chicken? Yes. Actually, more so, you ready to get married? We're eating tri-tip. <laughs> oh, you mean chicken as in tonight? Chick fil A. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But are you are you ready to get married? Yes. So we're gonna get married. We're gonna be married. And then we're gonna be married. I get to shorten up Sarah's last name. Now I got people asking about Wendy. Oh gosh, Rainbow Dash Twenty One right at the end. DC or Marvel? Go. Uh, Marvel. 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 Paleo. Paleo. What? DC or Marvel? Marvel? Yeah. <laughs> all right. We, we got to sign off before. <laughs> you got to me. Well, thank you so much for, again, all the super chats, for all of our live audience, for everybody that tuned in, everyone that's here on the podcast and those watching yeah. on Tape Delay. Thank you so much. Again, our super chatters, Drummer Shy, Zark7, Red Ghost 92 Pran Chan, Quiet Storm, Quiet Storm, <laughs> Fritz Will 732 Quiet Storm, Rainbow Dash 21 and Rainbow Dash 21. Thank you all so <laughs> much for your contributions here. Sarah is pretty much that money goes to Sarah who produces the stuff. So yeah. he's so. such an announcer. Oh my yeah, goodness! He, yeah. And that's a wrap here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Blow it out, everybody's ear drums. Wait. Good night, up. everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. We'll see you in whenever we sit. We'll see you <laughs> on the twenty. Did I start him on yeah. something? <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Dim ponies. Dude.